Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Last time, we beat the Ruined Sentinels. And that was, took the whole episode, but we got it done. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you know what? I'm, I'm working on getting good. It takes some time, and that's okay. <laughs> but we, uh, we made it to the Servants' Quarters bonfire and just sort of had to note that the... Um, I left two... F I have left two Pharaoh's contraptions unopened behind me. I just kind of need to mentally track that, I suppose. But the, uh, I believe the other one, the, the fourth one, leads to a shortcut to the next zone, the Belfry Luna, which I'm more than happy to just access the other direction anyway. So, let's see what's out here. Oh, hey! It's one of these tools. Ain't seen you in a while. What up? Not terribly interested in the message. Human effigy! I have a bunch of those. <laughs> Door to the left. I definitely see another big fella camping out there. Look at you, amateur pyromancer. Three flame butterflies. We've actually been to that courtyard. Don't get debated. That's where we went with the uh, break by breaking the boards and using the antiquated key. That courtyard down there. We do, however, have a gap to jump over here. Which I fucking hate. But we made it! A large soul of a nameless soldier. Fucking kamikaze mummy. Whoa. That's wild. Oh, hey, look. The paths have linked, which means there's now only one way to go, through this gate over here. Oh no. Kamikaze mummies. Balls. I hate that shit. That was not cool. Fuck are these things?
You have got to be kidding me! Fucking suicide monies, like... Like, I'm not that mad, except how in the ever-loving fuck am I supposed to, like, react? Because, you know, the window is like, you have to wait for them to break the urns, or I guess maybe I can break the urns myself. I just really hate these stupid f little fucking suicide mummies. I'm decidedly not a fan. Fuck you! Well, that's some crazy ass bullshit. Yeah, that fucker behind me, where did he come from anyway? what I would like to know. Ah, you're gonna make me fucking jump? I hate that shit. Bracing knuckle ring. What might that be? Knuckle ring worn by Roy the Explorer slows equipment degradation. Expensive, flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need your tried and true equipment to last the long haul. Just gotta keep practicing my fucking jumping. One flame butterfly and three torches. Oh, I wondered when we'd get here. Soul of a brave warrior and a golden wing shield. Mobetta. 
a blue shield with a gold relief of wings, likely a symbol of guardianship used by Knights of the Blue, contains materials enchanted by magic, allowing spells to be deflected by parrying. So... That will put me above 50%. But it is better. So... And it's not that... It's not that much better, except for all the... I mean, the elemental resist is great. And it's got five extra stability. But the physical defense drops from 95 to 60. And it's immaterial anyway, because it puts me above 50%. So if I want to use it, I need some levels in vitality. Let's see. I would rather the mummies not respawn, so... It's gonna... Run to the boss room, except surprise, the bosses are dead. Hi, jackasses. Alright. Gonna have to eat some fall damage here. It is what it is. Off we go. Okay, cool. See, that ain't bad, because all these fuckers are still dead. Fuck you, shitbags. An alluring skull. I've seen those before. Skeptic's Spice. So many items. Spice exuding a peculiar aroma. A spell demands devotion from its caster, but using this spice makes a chosen spell attainable with one less faith. Will only work with assistance from a certain person. The spice does not raise one's faith, but only obfuscates the requirement. Oh, Jesus.
Hmm. A statue blocks your way. It's locked. Life gem and eight life gems. <laughs> nice. Ah, up there. Three dudes with bows. And that takes us to the next area, a place called Sinner's Rise. But before we go there, So we've been told to try rolling. It's actually not a terrible idea. Gets us to a bonfire ascetic. Tossing this into a bonfire strengthens nearby foes. Once the bonfire ascetic is devoured by the flames, its effects can never be reversed. Be prepared before using this perilous ember. Fire exhibits a connection to the curse, and when the flames grow stronger, so does the curse. Okay. And now we can try, try our best to jump down, because this takes us to the, uh, this is the other way to access the area we could have gotten to with the third Pharos Lockstone. So, here we are. A wilted dusk herb. Restores many spell uses. A wilted and faded stalk of dusk herb restores a great deal of spell uses. A dusk herb in bloom works wonders, but will wilt in the blink of an eye. Needless to say, finding such an herb is of the utmost difficulty. Okay. And that's it. We can head to the... Now we can head to Sinner's Rise. I think I would like to do the Belfry Luna, but I think you have to use a Pharaoh's Lockstone to get inside. Hmm. All right, yeah, I need a Pharos Lockstone to do the Belfry Luna there. There's apparently no other way in, so...
Let's just head over to Sinner's Rise. But yeah, alright, I mean, here we are. Oh shit. That's a fucking bell gargoyle. I know those I know those fuckers. I've seen you before. Hey, there's a bonfire here. Nice. that other archer go? I know there were three. Let's light the bonfire. I don't want to rest at it just yet. Large soul of a lost undead. I'm sure he just also fell down. Oh yeah, that... Maybe farther than I wanted him to. That's alright. Let's take advantage of the bonfire to make a quick trip back to Majula. And do some leveling up. some souls, don't I? Yes. That'll do. Bearer of the seeks, seek, lest this Let's do endurance again. Now let's go back, because... The Salt Fort. Oh, hi. I mean, oh damn, they are right there. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I got distracted by some fucking emails. That's how it goes. Ah! 
Whew. I barely got it. I think I did get it. This is crazy. Alright, I clearly need to, like, get around the corner. Fuck you, my friend. Enjoy your day. I guess in general, it's going to be smarter to just ignore those guys. Alright, well that enemy placement was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, good luck! I mean, it, it's fine. How the hell did he get a shot off? It didn't even play the fucking animation. Human effigy. You fucking piece of shit! Oh my god! Life gem. All right. Fuck you, my friend. Did not enjoy your day. Five a lacerating knife. Those are new. Sharp throwing knife that causes bleeding. A throwing knife, its sharp blade is intended to cause bleeding rather than simply inflict damage. This simple weapon is easily utilized but has limited range and deals little damage. However, if the knife can cause bleeding, the target's max HP will be lowered.
Oh, hi. Terrible. We got one. Now this is actually important. A sublime bone dust. We can take our Estus flash to plus two. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Oh shit! Damn it! Got greedy. Should have known. Should have known. I wonder if these things stay dead. I doubt it. I'm not that lucky. For fuck's sake, you insufferable piece of shit. Just for the love of God, like, I have stamina and I'm holding the left trigger. Why is my shield not up? So you die. really don't want to do this. It's going to take forever if I have to recall the elevator every time. Look how fucking far down that is. That's crazy. That's some crazy shit. Did you stay dead? Of course not. I don't like you.
Come on now. Alright, that's two. Northern Ritual Band and a Bleedstone. Well, what's a Bleedstone? Quite positive I haven't seen one yet. Kind of Titanite makes equipment lacerating. An altered state of Titanite used to make weapons lacerating or to provide bleeding reduction to shields. Sorcerers at the Melfian Magic Academy once attempted to imbue Titanite with various elements, but are said to have failed. Someone must have succeeded, though. What else would explain this stone? What's the Northern Ritual Band? Increases spell uses, but reduces HP. One of the secret treasures restored in Aldia. Increases spell uses, but at the cost of HP. This modest-looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Good news is this is the last one. Okay, good. Oh no! I hate these little bastards. Important shit here. Soul of a proud knight and a pharaoh's locked stone, and you have got to be fucking kidding me! Where the hell did they come from? I even looked behind me! It's all right.
Yes, do I give a shit? Lancers, kinda. Like, I got what I really wanted. I mostly just want my souls. Six thousand's kind of a lot. Bye-bye! And see, now... Okay. First things first. We got we got to head back to Majula. We got important business there now. All right, I forgot all about you pricks. Fuck you. Alright. So we can probably level a time or two. Especially if I go ahead and use these souls. Ability. That's all I can do. That's fine. Now, let's burn a sublime bone dust. Take our Estus Flask to level 2. Some force, or level 3. Some force is strengthened to the Estus Flask. Now, I would like to go back to the servants' quarters. Ridiculously. Alright. So if we use the lock stone here... We can get to the Belfry Luna. Dwarf ahead. Update! Update! Take that up our belt! Right there, okay. Oh. The belt belongs to the princess 
it do? Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be made. Stay back all your pieces. Abandon your covenant and join the Bellkeeper Covenant? Oh, sure. That should be an achievement. Entered Covenant. Bellkeeper Seal. So apparently the main challenge with this zone is that it's one of the most active invasion areas in the game because of this covenant. I'd rather not do PvP, but sometimes you have to. If it gets too bad, I might just play offline, but... Ring for the Bellkeeper Covenant. Ring of the Bellkeeper Covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bellkeeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who could never be united. The bell keepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love, that is their curse. Phantom, therefore try ally. Try head. Oh, hi. It's a phantom of the bell keeper. How do you like that? Where the hell is he? Oh. Oh, whooped him. That's something. Tearstone ring. Wonder if it's the same as the first game. Increases defense when HP is low. A ring set with a rare tearstone reacts when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's defense. Kaitha, goddess of tears, mourns those who have lost loved ones by shedding pure tears of blue. It is said that the stone set in this ring is one such tear. There's a skeptic spice.
Oh boy. Two more of these guys. Two Radiant Life Gems and two Twilight Herbs. Another Skeptic Spice. I rang the bell! free gargoyles. I didn't love that, but at least now I can rush the boss fight. <sighs> so here we go. Guess we're fighting the Belfry Gargoyles. And it's another case of, well, they thought two were cool. So what are they... If two were cool, then five are gonna be... Way, way, super ridiculously cool. It's like, that's still not how it fucking works, but fine. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Since fucking when? souls! I mean, that's only one soul level, but still, Christ on a fucking bicycle! Okay, I guess it's good to know that getting to the door isn't good enough anymore! Whose fucking idea was it to change that mechanic? 
oh, <laughs> you know, they probably remember that once they got to a zone transition, they were safe. Why don't we fuck with them that way? How did I miss this? Another skeptic spice. And that was some ridiculous bullshit. Just all of a sudden... Getting attacked preempts the fog door instead of vice versa. Ridiculous. Alright, well. I think we're down to one. Get wrecked. All right. Nice. Victory achieved. Belfry Gargoyle Soul. About 26,000 other souls. Neat. Acquire numerous souls, or perhaps. Soul of a gargoyle of the lost Bastille. The elaborate stone statues on the Belfry mysteriously came to life. Use the special soul of this living statue to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. Soul of a Proud Knight. Most excellent. Southern Ritual Band. What's that one do? Allows attunement of additional spells. One of the secret treasures restored in Aldia raises the number of spells you may attune. 
This modest-looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. <sighs> All right. All right. And now here, here is a bonfire we'll be using post-haste. I'm going to return to Majula. I'm going to do something here purely for the achievement. I'm going to quickly uh, join the uh, Covenant at the Victor Stone. This is, um, unlike, unlike the first game where discovering the Covenant was enough, um, apparently in this one to unlock the achievements you actually have to join them. So, I mean, I obviously don't care about the Bell Keepers anymore either. Enter Covenant. Okay to join this Covenant? Yes, yes. Abandon your Covenant and join the Company of Champions. Yes. Champion's Tablet. Entered Covenant. Now I should be able to abandon this Covenant. But let's look at the Champion's Tablet. View the names of glorious champions. Online play item shows the names of the greatest victors of the Company of Champions Covenant. This tablet, chiseled from the Victor Stone, is engraved with the names of the brave warriors who have offered the most awe stones, as if they were epitaphs honoring their lives. I'm going to go visit Shao Kwa and immediately abandon that covenant. Where you at, kitty cat? Oh. <laughs> you do have a... Hi. Abandon covenant. Booyah Kasha. Satisfied? Very. I'll be around. Very satisfied, thank you. All right. Been a while since we found any upgrade type knight, but that's all right. We're our gear's there pretty good. Seeks, seek the, lest this la all right, gal, level me up. Give me some endurance, then some adaptability, and then some more endurance, and then some more adaptability. Boom. Yes. Please. That is what I like. Okay. So now I'm going to travel to the Belfry Luna Bonfire. And I am going to call it an episode. We killed a boss. Pretty sweet. Uh, so I'm still, I'm, I'm trying to remember like things I need to backtrack for. It's like, there are a bunch of locked doors and there have now been two uh, petrified people who need fragrant branches of yore to rescue, and there's still one Pharaoh's Lockstone contraption behind me as well, but for now, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you care to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place to do that is my Discord server. That link's in the video description. And if you care to support me or the channel, the best way apart from liking and subscribing is through my Patreon page. That link is also in the video description. My Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they'd like to see me play. We're currently finishing up the original Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, once that's done, I'll have my supporters choose a new game, and we'll play that one through all the way as well. It's a pretty straightforward process, and if you want to get involved, you have the option. Regardless of whether you do or not, I really do appreciate you watching. I am grateful for your time and attention. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.